right guys uh you might want to pay attention to this video we've had some major activity going on in our solar system i told you about that little boy's dream on tiktok just a dream but convergence and things happening i've never seen this young man this excited about giving up news on the solar system he says something huge is going on right now and we are looking at maybe this week possibly he says a g4 storm based on what just happened okay this was about five minutes ago you physicist Stefan burns here things are going nuts right now not only here on earth but with the sun and in fact the entire solar system we have a convergence of events and things are going insane i don't know where this is going to lead but today just now we had a 1.95 x class layer blast off from the sun we can see that very clearly with our 131 ancient imagery as i'm recording this it is still happening as you can see this blasted a massive coronal mass ejection out into space directly towards Earth. And that is going to hit us in about two to three days and trigger a significant geomagnetic storm, very likely G3 or even G4 levels, perhaps stronger than that. We could get more activity from this sunspot group here for three, four, one. In fact, I think that's likely to occur. It's not yet exactly Earth center and direct. It still has about three days to go. We have a significant planetary alignment right now. We have Venus, Mars, and Mercury all on the far side of the sun, closely conjunct the sun. Pluto is there as well. And today is the new moon. Happy new moon, everyone. Meaning that Earth's moon is positioned in front of the Earth and between the Earth and the sun. Also in this alignment, Jupiter is directly behind us. So almost every single significant point and planet in the sun in our solar system is participating in this alignment excluding the outermost gas giants so they are also configured in their own alignment with saturn and neptune conjunct with uranus and pluto also in 60 degree aspects to them so the entire solar system is in perfect geometry at this moment in time we also are seeing these crazy anomalies in the schumann resonances at this moment in time these are literally unprecedented in their duration, in their frequency characteristics, in their power, their Q factor. I don't know what they are. They often show up as pre-earthquake signals. So when we have seen these before in the past, for example, 2023, 2024, they looked very much like this, but they were much shorter in duration. Those preceded high magnitude seven plus earthquakes. So we could be looking at a huge earthquake in the immediate future, likely land-based, because usually those signals for ocean-based earthquakes are absorbed by the conductive seawater, but they also look like they could be man-made electromagnetic signals. So some sort of weird frequency manipulation that's occurring. I don't know. There is a lot out there on that. Some of these you know, groups have been doing this covertly for 50 plus years now. So it's not out of the book. It's not out of the question. And we know that these rhythms these electromagnetic frequencies in the Schumann resonance range of 0 to 50 hertz overlap with our brain waves and our basic biologic rhythms. And that's why they're experimenting with that in terms of being able to control the populace and their minds and more. It gets wild. We have that happening right now. We also have a gigantic coronal hole on the Earth facing side of the sun that is about to connect to us with its open magnetic field extending deep into interplanetary space. We're about to get hit with a high speed stream from that. And typically when we get these sort of significant high speed stream impacts and we connect to these very large trans equatorial coronal holes, we often get high magnitude earthquakes to follow. There's a clear correlation there. And so we have all the factors converging right now for a gigantic earthquake to occur between the planetary alignment. Now the earth is supercharged from this 1.9 X-class flare. The global electric circuit is super, super charged up. We have the Schumann anomalies, which are typically looked at as pre-earthquake signals and much, much more to get into. So a lot is happening right now. We're going to break it down all for you in this video. And with that, let's jump right into it. Okay, so I'm not going to continue. You can just go find Stephen Burns on YouTube. But for those of us who are spiritual believers, we believe in that this is the days of sorrow prophecy. Living it well, folks. It is alive and well. Wars and rumors of wars. 
pestilence, all these new sicknesses we got going on, and they're still pushing the needle, uh, and, and pestilence in the food, contamination in the air. I mean, then what did he say? Did Jesus say about that? That there would be money problems. Say that there ain't money problems. Earthquakes in diverse places, wars and rumors, nation against nation, kingdom against king, all of this stuff going on right now. And all of these people having dreams from babies to to everybody. As God said, he said he was going to pour out his spirit on all flesh in those days in the book of Acts. And he's calling all to repentance. He's giving us signs and wonders above and below. <laughs> so what else do you need? Unless we got those Thomas spirited folks who say, uh-uh, Jessica Winky Dink, this stuff always been going on, yada, yada, yada. Oh, yes, it's always been going on. But not with this intensity, not with this frequency, okay? That's the difference. Yeah, it's always been going on. But look at everything that's going on, not just this. Look at the politics, look at the wars, look at the social uh, climate, okay? Financially. I mean, everything is at war right now. Here's another little tidbit of information I want y'all to think about before I end this video. Way, way back in the day, I don't know, early 2000s, maybe, uh, there was a scene in Iran, and it was recorded live on television, on MSNBC, Fox, everywhere. There was a pale green horse that was in the crowd, and people all over, the, the videos are still up on YouTube if you just go type them in, That's, they're still up, where people were recording live, using because back then DVR was, you could record and pause. Everybody around the world recorded the pale green horse and the rider on the horse during that time he was sitting backwards on the horse and it jumped through the crowd and disappeared. Oddly enough, the people, the, the Iranians, the people out there protesting just like they are now, the Iranians right now, same thing then, they didn't see it. They wasn't aware of it. And now look what we have here, Iran. Back in, the, back in the fold again. All this conflict on top of the earth and in the earth. Okay? You don't think energy boomerangs? That, that would be a lie. Everything is based on energy and frequency. Your body is made up of frequency, electricity, and water. Why do you think you get shocked when you walk across a certain kind of carpet and touch plastic or metal? It's frequency electricity none of this stuff is happening by coinky dink folks there is a reason why this stuff is happening because it is prophetic whether you want to believe that or not look at this president whether you for him or against him look at the tariffs look at the money problems okay i'm taking this country i want this i want that are we setting up kingdoms or what Russia, okay? I mean, look at, Ish I, hey, I can go on and on, but this right here, what he talking about? It's very biblical because God said, I, I put an angel in the sun with a vial, and he is ready to pour it out, okay? The Bible says that when the new kingdom comes and the new Jerusalem comes, there will be no more sun and there will be no more moon. God says there will be it no more need for it because Jesus will be the light thereof and it will never be dark. Is the sun on its way out? And when it explodes, it's going to take the moon with it. God said, I'm going to destroy earth, make a new earth and make a new heaven around the earth. So what are we looking at? Is God setting stuff up for us to witness and, and to understand what it is spiritually is what he's doing? Uh -huh.